How's it going, everyone? Thanks for joining. Um, so this one is going to be uh, crystal cracking when it comes to the combat chips from the Super Black Friday deal that just came up. Uh, I bought all four of the Decepticon bundles and all four of the Autobot bundles. But for this video, we are just doing the Decepticons. So the first set is going to be Fracas. Um, just a small heads up, there's going to be a lot of duplicates. And we will be doing them ten at a time. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay, you gotta laugh at that one a little bit, right? I said there's gonna be a lot of duplicates. <laughs> and the first one is a, a three star. Um, now, uh, this account, my main is Autobot Faction, so not too much of a surprise that uh, I will be getting uh, a handful of Decepticon combat bots, um, only because, you know, the, no surprise, your main faction is going to have more stuff because, like, between the events and maybe bundles, you're more likely to buy your mains, not your alts. Um, the reason I bought both was because um, the limited ones had combat shards in them, and uh, I was able to, you know, use that to go uh, put into a five-star bot combat bot, which was uh, Zor. I don't know who I'm going to connect them to yet. Um, I'm not really about putting them on uh, medics, but a lot of people are saying put them on a medic. So, maybe. Uh, the other person I was thinking about was maybe uh, Hot Rod. Like, he walks slow. So, why not? You know? So, we're be in the background with him. But, um, I think that's the, the, the general consensus. Whoever walks slow should have Zor. Now my assumption is uh, this video is going to go, say 45 minutes, that's my thought. And I think when everything's also said and done, uh, I should be able to crank out another 5 star combat bot. Uh, of course it will be an Autobot combat bot and um, I would do that in a separate video. Now the reason the background volume is so low is uh, mainly because uh, talking over it would mean that you can't hear the, the person talking versus hearing the game sounds or the, uh, the music game music. I wanted to make it paint, <laughs> so it wasn't so overpowering. Uh, but now I think I'm noticing that, you know, that I'm not going to be able to provide that much commentary because uh, all this is, is going to be a lot of crystal cracking for getting duplicates. Uh, there isn't going to be that much excitement. Um, to be honest, I'm not even sure how much excitement there would be because uh, when it comes to fracas, uh, I'm just going to you know connect them to who. Um, you know, like the first Decepticon, I'm not going to put too much thought into it because they're the old faction and out of the 14 teams, I only have one Decepticon team. Um, I remember when I started the game, I tried to make it, you know, 50-50. Um, it was uh, seven Autobot teams and seven Decepticon teams, but that unfortunately ends up changing uh, as you progress through the game, right? Like, um, I, for, for me... Uh, in the beginning, it was mostly for fun and entertainment. Then later on, it turned into something a little bit more serious, where 
was like, hey, I'm joining a faction. Hey, I want to be stronger. Hey, I want to be, uh, you know, at the top of the leaderboard. You know, things like that. So uh, when that started happening, you don't really uh, have uh, opposing um, faction wars. You know, I mean, you can go and do regular battles with them, but you can't do like a, you know, the alliance wars with them. So it, it felt like I was, you know, investing uh, time and energy into something that would never be as strong as the main faction. Because think about it, right? You, you don't have a combiner or a titan when you're using your alt faction. Um, will that ever change? Who knows? So if I, if I remember the map right, I think when you got all the, um, if you bought all the packages, right? Uh, you got like a 640 chips. Um, so don't quote me on that. I, <laughs> I, like I said, I think. But the main thing was that it was enough, you know, times that by two, I was able to get uh, enough chips to get a five star combat bot. Um, I think the same thing's going to end up happening where I'll just get so many dupes. I believe I'll get another five star combat bot or I'll be relatively close. I think maybe, you know, I might get up to uh, three quarters of the way there. So I'm betting I'll get over uh, 3,500 five star combat chips. You know what's funny thing I have, I've always noticed like when you have a four star version of a bot, whether it's combat bot or a regular bot, the chances of getting uh, another four star dupe, it, it, even though it's supposedly the math is always the same, right? No matter what, you know, it's it's that two percent or one point eight percent or whatever you know number that they're you know showing us in the newsletter. I personally, amongst the you know other people, they'll see it's like, hey, wait a second. Now after getting that four star, finally, now it's just dupe after dupe after dupe of it. Um, kind of similar to how like, hey, I got that three star, and now I'm getting dupes of the three star. I think Singe is um, an air class only. If I remember right, I put I uh, I put him on um, Skywarp. Um, Skywarp is one of those bots that you need for the game, uh, and his equivalent is Silverbolt. So Silverbolt's a part of my uh, one of my war teams. Got here. Is this the four star Brachus? Yes, it is. And just take a quick screenshot of that. And let's continue. Uh, if you're curious on what you just saw there, what I do is on my desktop, uh, I play Transformers on Bluestacks. I finally got all that fixed. I don't know what was causing the, the VM background thing to not work correctly, or what disabled it, and I had to re-enable it. I, it, was, it was a little bit of trouble, but I'm just happy that I got it working correctly. One thing you're going to notice is uh, like, because it's a virtual emulator, uh, it will have slowdowns here and there. Um, 
I tend to, when I'm playing on here, I you know, have to like, turn everything off in the background. And I'm also half doing it because I'm, I'd be watching something because it'd be a little frustrating on, on certain hiccups. So I half play, uh, half attention is given to um, what's happening uh, on the PC version. Uh, now, see, it, it took like how many, how many um, crystals before I got the four star, and now I'm already getting duplicates of it. And it's, you know, I'm not, I, I don't know what to really, you know, say about it. It's just like, hey, I, I see the pattern, you know, <laughs> it takes forever. But if you're telling me the math is sound, math is sound. I have no place to argue. It's like the people who know better are doing it, right? And, and like I said, like a mathematician would would say something similar. It's like, hey, the way this works, you know, flip a coin. No matter if you get uh, uh, eight in a row heads, still that next one is a 50-50 chance. It is not guaranteed it's going to be tails or um, something like it has a greater chance of becoming tails. But you know, like conventional thinking between like um, you, know, like you and I, it would be like, hey, it's going to be tail soon, you know? You know what I should do? I should at least look up Brackus, see how good he is, right? <laughs> like, as at this point, it's like, hey, um, thanks for the, the shards. But it's a little hard for, for anyone one to really say, like, hey, I bought this specifically for that. You know, it's a little harsh. A lot of money wasted for what? Yeah? You know? Of course, his, his opposite is uh, Nightshade. Um, Nightshade has that red face. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, I'm sorry, Nightshade, Nightstick. Um, it reminds me of the, um, the little monkeys you see on on National Geographic, the ones that have the white face. Oh, uh, sorry, the red face. <laughs> oh boy! Like in my head. I knew what I was trying to say and not say, and then the exact opposite thing came out of my mouth. Alright, so what is good is this guy. And I'm just reading the newsletter that introduced them, trying to find out. They're finally making their way. No, I don't need to finally make their way in. Already in the game. Ooh, so they shoot acid bullets. Interesting. Kind of feels like rust dust ability, is that it? Man, because it's a um, Acid, it's uh, damage over time.
what typically I like to do is I like to equip one of these guys, uh, their two-star version, with one of the other bots only to see what they do because, uh, you know, <laughs> unequipping like a three or a four star costs an arm and leg. Especially when, you know, if, if, when you get closer to end game, you need Energon more than you need Alloy. Um, wow, 15 minutes. And we're about halfway through. I'm just wondering if this is even worth it, right? What do you think? Correctly? I think they were brought in the same newsletter as um, Skids and Knockout, I don't think that's what their specials are, or that, that's what um, Nightstick and um, Rackus are for. The general consensus is to put them on flyers. Oh, wow. yeah, the flyers actually need that extra health, right? Acid damage increases DPS and heals. that it goes on gunners. I wonder how it stacks then. Fangtron's like mouth looks a little odd. It's like only the top half. Is that weird? Like a hungry, hungry hippo with top half. Um, I know Roller Force has like so it's two star dupe, but he's also part of this bundle, so that's gonna be a little um. A little interesting. Uh, hopefully it just improves my odds for getting something, somebody higher.
Alright, so what is that? Ten more clicks, I think, right? Or nine more? I think maybe, probably what's best is if I just, um, do a video, a group, maybe? Because this, I think, is creeping on 20 minutes. Trying to keep them at a decent time. So it'll be like eight separate videos, right? Yeah, I think so. Every time I see Gator Face, I think of that joke from um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. It was like Taser Face. What type of dumb name is that? Alright, I want to say this is the home stretch. Well, guys, at this point, I wouldn't mind more uh, four star dupes. Of course, you know, the end goal is to get more five stars for the, um, for my main faction, so, keep bringing in those four star dupes. I think what I should do, like after this batch, I need to maybe not do uh, the really long crystal crackings like this, you know, especially since it's going to be so many different dupes. Uh, like those smaller chests, I think that's more doable than 340 chips. Um, we're going to weigh it out though. Um, yeah, because even in, in this thing, right, I think I said earlier on that I got uh, all the, the limited bundles. So I'd have to do 
this type of unlocking or crystal cracking seven more times, I think. So, like, according to this thing, right, like, practice is one of the newer ones, but there was um, even newer combat bots released. Uh, it's things that they couldn't have been available for Black Friday. Uh, I'm sure to a point that was planned in that manner. Introduce those um, combat class uh, sh um, promotions. So it wasn't that weak. What weak was it? Not tapti tactical. Was it not cross faction? Was it kicking off? I think. Probably not going to get the answer by the, the end of this video. Was it tag teams? In uh, any case, um, I'll probably talk about the, <laughs> the newest guys on the next video, but uh, just as this one ends, we're getting close to the 30 minute mark, so I do want to thank you for sitting back and watching this video, hearing my um, <laughs> my partial commentary, but uh, feel free to, you know, leave some constructive criticism or, you know, like, like and subscribe, it's up to you, but I do want to thank you for watching and see you on the next one, alright, uh, which will be the Zori crystal cracking uh, right here. Zor. Sorry. Right? <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that name right. Thank you and have a good one, guys.